Hi everyone, welcome back to the Simple Ground YouTube channel. I'm Jared. I'm at my original homestead, packing things up to move to the new homestead. And when I got to the guns, I realized I should do a video on them. Alright, here's the idea. Outside it's cold. I think it's 5 degrees, 5 or 4. Um, I'm going to put boiling water in this. Have you guys ever seen the throwing a pan of boiling water in the air in the negative temperatures and having it turn into a cloud? Well, it's not quite negative degrees out there, but I think it'll still work. I'll just put some boiling water in the cup and this will be my target. Let's see what they look like. This gun that I'm holding right here is a Stevens 410 shotgun. This was my great grandpa's gun. He gave it to my grandpa. My grandpa gave it to me. I was really fortunate to receive this gun. This gun is special in more ways than just the lineage and the heritage. It tells a little bit about a homesteading life. This is the original piece of wood here, or at least I think it's pretty close. But this stock has been remade by my grandpa uh, after the original stock was beat up a little. This here is the 22 that I grew up with. Uh, it's a lever action, old cowboy style gun, really smooth. Winchester made it. Uh, I don't know if you can buy a gun like this anymore. Just a wonderful model here. It's been very beat up, very abused over time. Has a very clever magazine. I think it holds 15 shots. It's been too long since I've loaded it completely full. Great, wonderful gun. This here is a very special and fun gun. I'm just showing it to you because it's fun. The 3855 caliber Marlin. It's an old cowboy gun. Octagon barrel. They didn't make very many octagon barrels. It's a fun old antique. Beautiful design. Also a lever action. This is one of the guns that my mom collected. I just thought I would show it to you since it's so fun and beautiful. Well, that was good. <laughs> Did you miss? Well, maybe I'm not gonna. Too long. I know guns are a little bit of a controversial topic in today's world, and I feel like I've kind of skipped a generation, so I may not understand why quite as well as some other folk. It's my opinion, though, that when somebody lives close to the land, they need some tool like a gun. And it's just the way I feel the world works. Uh, my opinion, though, right? <laughs> I, I do want to share a few of the reasons though. For those of you who don't know, I grew up um, with a farmer for a father and a rancher for a mother. So we had a farm and a ranch, definitely had animals around, and definitely lived close to the land. And we used guns for recreation, uh, just like a lot of people do, but we also used them to, to uh, protect our animals. Um, a gun can scare or kill a predator. It doesn't have to be kill. Um, it's kind of hard to simplify this. I'm sure any of you that have had these experiences understand what it's like. I'm trying to simplify it down and it's, I feel like I'm skipping over the surface too much. But for the interest of time, I'll continue. Um, besides protecting the animals, protecting ourselves, uh, 
it was, we knew those parts of the mountain where we could ride our horses safely, and we knew the parts of the mountain where we would take a, a sidearm with us, um, whether it be for the cougars or I've had a badger charge the horse, <laughs> and the, the gun saved the day there. Um, and, you know, there's those really sad moments where a gun was used to uh, put down some of our beloved animals. There were times when suffering called for uh, an immediate end to the suffering, and the gun fit the ticket there. It's also important to note that a gun is a very vital tool in collecting food. If you're a meat eater like I am, a gun can be used to help slaughter the animal. Uh, cow can be hit right in the forehead with the 22 and knock it clean out. I think that might be the most humane way to to kill a cow. Um, and then you can also use a good hunting rifle to kill uh, a deer or an elk or some other wild game to feed your family as well. I don't fit in, in the camp of the killing for pleasure category. Um, I have a hard time the more I live, the more I feel like life is sacred. But there is a place. That's my also, or also my feeling. There is a time and a place for all things. And if I'm going to be doing the killing, I want to do it in the most humane way possible. So it's my opinion that a gun is is a weapon, yes, but it's also a tool. And used right and used effectively and used with safety and the appropriate attitude, it's a vital tool. It's a tool that I would recommend for any homesteader, any modern homesteader, to be used with wisdom and prudence, right? Anyway, that's a lot of serious stuff, all in one big lump. Let's go have a little more fun before the end of this video. Again, thanks for watching, and thanks for taking this journey with us on Simple Ground.